Yvette, uh, when did you discover that you could sing or you want to sing? Um, I've been singing since I was very young, mostly to myself, from about the age of nine. But I started taking music very seriously about three years ago, in 2006. And up to date, I've just been working on music ever since. Well, what made you decide to take it seriously now? Um, I really love music. Um, I can't even describe it. Just the way I feel when I'm writing, when I'm singing, when I'm producing melodies. I really appreciate other artists and art in general. So I always kind of knew that I was going to be involved in the arts. So what kind of music were you listening to and had your influences from? I listened to a lot of Anita Baker um, throughout my life. So it is my family, we all do. Um, all kinds of artists. I really like Gwen Stefani. You know, a lot of people who are current right now, I really admire the Neptunes. Um, Performance-wise, I appreciate artists like Michael Jackson, Chris Brown. A lot. I'm very diverse. Good. And how about your music? Let's talk about your music. What kind of music do you do? I would describe my music as also very diverse. It, I would, most of all, I would say it has a very African base. It's very rootsy, but there's always root, um, sorry, blues incorporated, and pop, and funk, and R&B, and hip hop. I like everything, so I like to put something for everyone in my music. Good. So how far are you with, uh, say, an album, if you are putting that far? I'm currently working on my first album. It should be coming to you sometime in 2010, so please stay tuned. Uh, can you give us a sense of the music that, that would be on it? Um, no, I don't want to give you, I don't want to give my cards away. I want everyone to be wild in a sense. It's my first time really coming out um, in Ghana. Ghana is my home. I love Ghana very much, so I don't want to give anything from my first album away. But you performed <laughs> recently at the Ghana Fashion Weekend. Uh, is that song taken from your upcoming album? Yes, it is. It's called Always Have My Heart. That was my first performance ever, and it was just wonderful. How did it go for you? I had a great time. Um, it was more than I expected. That's that's all I can say. Yeah, you, you, you talked about coming back home and then do an album for Ghanaians. Uh, how do you perceive or uh, expect the Ghanaians to accept your music when it's out there? Do you think the type, do you have the feel that the Ghanaians would accept easily? Certainly. I've been listening to music out here in Ghana since I was a kid. My parents always played music even when I lived abroad. So I know what Ghanaians are interested in. I'm Ghanaian. I'm interested in the same thing. It's, 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 it's diverse, but it's still very African, and I want Ghana and the rest of Africa to enjoy it. Performance-wise, that you like someone like Mike Jackson, uh, does that mean that your music would incorporate a lot of dancing? Oh yes, I love to dance very, very much. Um, I've been dancing since I was very small, so I have my siblings, we all did. And I've continued to do so through high school and college and till now, so... Yeah, I, I like to watch Michael Jackson a lot too. And you are, are taking part in Miss Universe. How do you hope to use that platform to benefit your career in music now? Uh, I would say most of the reason I got involved in the first place was to, um, you know, get out there and get a feel of the industry and to learn and experience pretty much. And I've already gained that, so. I pretty much want to leave that behind and now focus on the more creative side, who I really am, which is music, and in the future, hopefully acting. Talking about, okay, I was going to ask you that, talking about creative, what else do you do apart from music? I model for certain lines, for example, Honey V. Couture. Um, as of now, that's, that's the only company I work with, the only fashion label. I hope to do others in the future, depending on you know what I like. I have a very unique style, so. Uh, talking about style, uh, what, what made you choose what you're wearing right now, and where is it from? Um, I'm wearing today Honey Bee Couture, which is a very classy line designed by my sister Melissa Incia, and as you can see, it's just really beautiful. 
very authentic pieces from around the world, mostly Africa, Ghana here. And I just love it. That's what I'm all about. I want other people to see how, be how much beauty we have here and how much art we have here and stuff like that. So what should people in general expect from you, from Ghana, from all over the world? What should I expect from you, your music and everything else? I would say just expect to be entertained. Anything else you get from it, I am grateful, you know. I, I would love for people to be inspired as well, but I aim to entertain. <laughs> Can you let us sing for us? Sure, I'll sing you a song, a little song that I entitled The Message. It's a song I wrote in Vietnam. I would like to dedicate this to children in Africa all, and all around the world, children everywhere. The future of the world lies in our hands. We'll take these opportunities every chance we get. Please believe in yourself, cause I believe in you. And we are the future of the world. So believe that, that God lives in you.